And it's quite fun following the route. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ever RC. Today we have something very special here. It's not a car, but it's something related. And I purchased it with myself. And then you can get it from Banggood as well. So, all right. so this is uh, it's a foam boat and it's from Guard or something. All right. So this version here is a kit version I got from China. But uh, you can get the same thing from uh, Banggood as well, but it's uh, RTR. Very good manual here with uh, all the parts label with number and uh, behind it is the naming each of these numbering all right so we have the strap here to protect the propeller as well as your fingers in terms of size i think this is just right not too big not too small quite the size of a 110 scale rc is uh if just a shell alone is pretty pretty light and then from what i know from the description is that the inner uh, shell included some foam to prevent uh, even if you have a leakage then it should still float so there's also a compartment here that I think that you can put your battery or your electronics that intend to use a, a small four cell here if not Mexican the manufacturer does recommend that you can use two cell uh, uh, 18650 lithium ion battery as well push up for the steering so you put your cover here and they are very into detail as well, you can see there's like this stair, not stair, but gear shifter and uh, the seat, I think this is really cool so probably you can uh, put a FPV camera here and here as well, this is for the for, for the inner compartment so there's a servo here or some, something like this servo like this I believe and then like that close it for waterproofing i think this is the wire for the motto the esc there's also this uh, knob to secure this well aligned i believe yep i can turn it in for the front for the back i'm gonna try later the pack of content here propeller i think this is uh so i think this is a five or six inch rather Cool. Oh, there's a metal ball end, but this one looks like smaller than those 110 size. This is a engine stand, motor, outrunner, maybe adapter. Maybe I'll change this. Then servo for some stickers. Hey guys, so I've assembled it, and then I have quite some complaint. One is the propeller is really terribly unbalanced, so I've uh, balanced it with uh, tape. Seems much better before that it vibrates crazily. This kind of motor shaft, the size is different compared to those uh, RCA planes motor uh, shaft size is 2mm compared to 3.17mm. And then this uh, motor mount is quite flimsy as well. It's quite soft. If you go forward, it actually pulls it forward. Then uh, the other thing is the. So what I have is a kit version. And uh, you can get uh, the RTR version from uh, Banggood as well. I'll put the link in the description. What I hate is the compartment here, battery compartment, the electronics compartment. It's previously as uh, as you see in the video, there's a plate here which I think is it's a waste of space and uh, waste of space through the location of where the servo is mounted as well. So I uh, threw that away and then I redesigned. I drew this uh, compartment myself. So this one lifts up the receiver. I have a lot more space now and I put a bigger battery as well but I'll probably stick to just uh, two pieces of uh, two cell XT650 Yeah, and I made a battery case, a battery holder, battery, battery mount as well and I flashed my ESC, this is the F30M ESC with uh, Simon K with reverse so it can do reverse and uh, we are in a lockdown, can't go far and finally there's a heavy rain here today and <laughs> unfortunately there's no not much of swamp this is a swamp boat but there's a tiny patch over there and uh, see whether it works on uh, slippery grass surface or not by the way I have a Dumbo RC6 channel from uh, Banggood as well this is a high, high response very quick uh, response uh, radio system is impressive and uh, well if if All Star is beautiful this is not beautiful but the uh, Surpass Hobby version one is very nice I'll put in the description or uh, in my other video I mentioned as well is uh, Sabas Hobby rebranded this, made it nicer with a matte surface, so very, very nice. And but basically it's the same thing. 
and uh, if you want an Alstar, why not consider this? The price is not much, but you get a six channel, where where the third channel in Alstar, the third channel is only on off, but you get fourth channel where you can do forward backward and also neutral, and also PPM out for your external uh, radio module like uh, uh, like 433 megahertz and also uh, USHF and also as a simulator as a tool a radio control for your PC simulator. Oh, well, let's test it. I need more rain! Damn it. We had a crazy downfall just now, so let's give it a try. I'm not sure whether it's still deep enough or not. Oh, it seems like it's alright. Try that. Oh, yeah! It works. Yeah. That's quite fun, huh? But now I get. I got this got stuck. I am having a lot of fun. Woo. Yeah. I think my gyro is causing me not to have enough of uh, staring so I <laughs> just quite fun following the rock. Right, make a circle. Oh damn, it's run out of power. It feels really weak now. Let's go further. Hopefully we can come back. It's quite shallow there. Uh, yeah, we made it back. 